A Dialogue Between the Soul and the Body, by Andrew Marvell Poem Video Summary. Poem Introduction. The Dialogue Between the Soul and the Body, by Andrew Marvell is a poem about the raging argument between the soul and the body. Both entities claim to be victims of each other's actions while engaging in sinful behavior. This metaphysical poem delves into the themes of sins and souls. Poem Summary. The poem begins with the soul presenting its grievances. Saying, it laments as it has been a prisoner in so many ways to the body and is yearning for liberation from various physical constraints. The soul describes the body as a prison, with bones clamped like bolts and hands and feet serving as chains. The eyes are a closed barrier and the eardrum has a deafening effect by the external sounds. It is suspended in the nervous system of the body like a prisoner. Each organ causes torture and is victimized by the vanity of the head and the duplicity of the heart. Complaints, saying, I am the one who is affected by the sins committed by the body organs. In response, the body defends itself and presents its own points. Asking, who will liberate me from this tyrannous soul? The soul is a pointed stake driven into me and forcing me into a stiff and unbending posture so that I feel always in danger of collapsing and getting destroyed. While the soul provides warmth and facilitates movement, the body argues that it has no need for these benefits and suggests that even a fever could generate similar heat. The body sees the soul as an unwelcome and malevolent spirit that denies it any rest or respite. The soul again starts to argue its points. Agreeing that it doesn't know which magic spells make it suffer for the sorrows of the body even though it is supposed to be incapable of feeling any pain. It says I don't know why I care to preserve the body which has a tormenting effect on me. The soul endures the physical and emotional pain caused by diseases and their treatments. Even the body's restoration to health becomes a source of suffering for the soul. Whenever the body seems to be dead soon, it feels that it will release from its imprisonment upon the body's imminent death, but as soon as the body recovers, the soul is again in a shipwrecked state. The body intervenes again claiming that it bears the consequences of the soul's experiences. Says that no medicine can cure the diseases you impose upon me. When you experience hope, I am suffering from cramps. When you experience fear, it is I, the body who feel the trembling. If you experience love, I am fevered with the plague. When you experience hatred, I am inundated with internal ulcers. If you experience joy, I feel madly cheered. If you experience grief, I feel depressed. It's your knowledge which makes me know about this all and it's your memory that I can't forget any of them. You are the one who has the cleverness to make me a house of sin. All the sins that I commit originate from you. It's like the same technique that an architect adopts in building houses from woods obtained from the green trees which have been cut down in a forest. But it's trimmed to the required size by the carpenters with their axes and saws. Thanks for watching. Click the link in the description to watch the short summary of the same. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Find the links below to follow us across other social media platforms and our website where you can read many such easy summaries of English literature. www.literpretation.com